Good! Boss of YouTube, Six Foot Hacks here, have for you guys today the finals of GBA Season 9. We are taking on one of my very good friends, Mr. Randy HLD Productions, coach of the Houston Team Rockets. If you guys may have missed our team builder, a link to that will be down in the description. Definitely, definitely go check out Randy, guys. He has had an amazing season so far, and his live battles are very, very enjoyable. Also, I'll leave a link to a playlist for our Season 9 run, which will hopefully, fingers crossed, be our championship run here. And this is going to be a rematch of gba d league season three where we were able to beat randy to win the entire season and now we're here about a year and a half later in the finals of gba season nine so he said he may take a minute so i'll probably just wait here and cut to the actual team matchup itself Ooh, all right so we're about to get this started if you guys are hyped and excited hit that thumbs up button down below let me know in the comment section below what do you think about ubers in the draft league format he brought the latios what whoa i did not expect latios oh okay mega latios is interesting i really did not think he would uh he would bring that what would be absolutely terrifying is if he has t spikes on rose raid but i don't Think that he may have much merit to bring it. So we have Yabelta, Clefable, Ape. No Suicune. What? Yo, that's another big one. Okay. Megalodios is interesting though. Yo, seeing no Suicune is actually really awesome. Honestly. So P2 and Megalodios. Roserade, Ape, Yavelta. I'm I'm really surprised to not see Suicune. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. So Looking at leads, I kind of just want to lead Garchomp still. I feel like Garchomp is still going to be my best lead, honestly. Because we can try and get up Rocks turn 1. See, now that he has Mega Latios, I feel like he may have Defog on it. I need to be very careful with that. Now I wish I was Aka Berry. Um, dude, my gut was telling me, bring Aka Berry on Ferrothorn. Now I feel like this is gonna, gonna maybe bite us in the back. So yeah, I'm just gonna lead Garchomp, I think. It's my best lead. I can hopefully get up Rocks turn one. Uh, biggest fear is that I guess maybe he leads like Scarf and Fernape with HP Ice, but that still shouldn't be entirely too bad. So we're gonna get this started, man. And <laughs> I'm so anxious right now, guys. I'm more anxious than usual because this is this is the finals. This This match literally is do or die win it or lose it all so hopefully we can win it all and things go in our favor so we're gonna be rocking out with guard chump here as our lead yao what is that infernape no porygon 2 oh that's annoying why would he leave porygon 2 so it turns out to be plus special attack okay so that's a little bit annoying if he does have the ice beam ice beam at plus one is going to just kind of smack us around unfortunately so I kind of want to make the hard switch here on out. There's no real reason for me to want to stay in here. I want to bring in Ferrothorn. I really do. But if he has HP Fire at plus one, that could be doing a good amount of damage to us. Let me check real quick. At plus one, how much is Empower Fire doing? Uh, plus one, plus one. That's a 2 AKO, unfortunately. I think I'll try to bring in Cresselia. Uh, this way, I can hopefully Toxic him immediately. Because I believe he's got to go for Ice Beam here. He has the Ice Beam. Worst case is like Tri-Attack potentially. As he does Ice Beam. So we're going to be able to tank this even though he is going to be at plus one. And I kind of just want to go for Toxic here. Honestly. Because he could stay in. He may have the Shadow Ball. That's fine. Toxicing this is going to be good for the rest of our team. In the back. We should definitely be faster as well. So. He didn't do that much damage to us. Which means... He may actually not be running a lot of special attack investment. Yeah. It doesn't look like it. So he's definitely really fat. So now I'm happy that I did put enough speed on my Marsh Shadow for the Mega Latios, just to be safe. Although I don't think he would be max speed Mega Latios in this case. Uh, either way, though, we should be fine. Toxic here basically hits everything. He could stay in just to see what I want to do, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Anything that he switches in here is not going to appreciate a Toxic. If he brings in the Yveltal, that would be amazing. Oh my god, if he brings in Yveltal, that would be so amazing right now. 
I need to find out what set Infernape is running, and I need to find out what set Clefable and Yveltal are running as well. Yeah, I feel like there's no drawback in me going for Toxic. There's no real reason for me to double either. That wouldn't help me entirely too much in this scenario in case he does want to stay in. Even though I do want rocks up very, very badly, I can't afford to uh, let Garchomp get too weakened early on in this match here. So yeah, I'm hoping he'll stay in here. I don't think he really loses much in staying in. As he is going to switch out, that's fine. Yveltal potentially. Go Rockets is Latios. Okay, that's fine. I'll take this. We can Toxic this now. And we don't miss. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, if I had doubled there... <laughs> Uh, would have not been the best thing for us. So, yeah, getting off a of Toxic on this is huge. Now he knows that we have Toxic. He most likely is going to expect us to be defensive as well. Unless this is Heal Bell or Refresh, I'm not too concerned about it. I am a little bit worried that it has Hidden Power Fire. That is my big fear. But I'm going to make a hard switch right into Ferrothorn. Either way, I think. And then, if I can get a Polaris Spikes, that would be amazing. I'm hoping he tries the Thunder Wave here, potentially. Because he's been bringing T-Wave on Mega Latios quite a bit. Toxic! Okay, so he's got Toxic. He's got to have Recover. He more than likely does have Kid of Power Fire, but... Is that the worst thing ever? Getting up a Spike here is really, really nice, I think, honestly. Let's check Ferrothorn real quick. Latios, how much... But a hidden power fire due to us. It should never Oko us either. But because he has Toxic, I don't think he's gonna be. Uh, what's it called? He's not gonna be Calm Mind, it seems like. Jarball does a really good amount of damage to this, honestly. No, I think I want my spike up. I want my spike up here. Yeah, I, I really want the spike. Like, that's fine. That's fine. This should only do about 60 max. We can tank. Ooh, I did a lot. But we get up a Lara Spikes, that's good. That's really good. So Porygon 2 has Ice Beam. He's got to have Recover. I wonder what else he would be running on it. He could expect me to switch here. In which case, I really want to bring in Darkrai because Darkrai doesn't care about Toxic. And then I can just click Knock Off on a predicted switch. I can still save Ferrothorn later, most likely. This is where having Akaberry would have been really nice just because uh, we would have been at much higher HP. And that would have been good to maybe get more residual on the Infernape later, but it's not the worst thing ever. As he does stay in, we bring in Darkrai. I'm hoping he goes for HP Fire again, but Toxic is a good play on his end. No, he defogs. Oh, he's... What? So he's got defog Toxic. Defog Toxic, HP Fire. Does he not have... Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna knock off here. Mmm, that's actually a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie, that is a little bit annoying. So he is sitting at 40% now, which is amazing. I don't even think I've touched this once, right? No, this is all like toxic damage, which is great. He has to bring in either Porygon 2 or Clefable, I'd assume. Those are his best switch ins to my Darkrai. Because he could expect me to just go for Dark Pulse or the Ice Beam. So if we knock off Porygon 2 a Violite, that's really great. Yeah, so he's sitting at 40% now, which is amazing. Oh, I'll take this. Yes, we can get rid of whatever item he's potentially running. Leftovers, okay. So that actually did a really good chunk of damage. Hold on. That's like, what, 12%? Okay, well, it's not a chunk of damage, but it's chip damage nonetheless. Let's see, Dark Cry. Yeah, I did about 11%. I'm gonna Sludge Bomb, honestly. Yeah, I feel like he could expect me to switch, and Sludge Bomb is really no drawback because we tank a Moonblast. This should be a 2 KO, I think. Oh, that is definitely a 2 KO. Yes, we're gonna eat this. As, oh, dude, no spadef drop, please. I mean, no special attack drop. Yes, I'm going to sludge bomb again. That did a lot, though. Oh, my God. That did, like, 80 points of damage. Yeah, he got a really high roll on that one. 
Yeah, he got a really, really high roll on that hit. It's fine, though. If we get rid of this Clefable, this is huge. This is so huge if we get rid of this Clefable. It's sitting at, what, 30% now? I'll take that. So it's at 30%. We know he's got the Moonblast. I mean, a part of me could have honestly just gone for a Sludge Bomb initially, but if I had done that, he probably wouldn't have felt comfortable staying in with Clefable initially. Although, I guess it would have got the hit off anyways, and then I could have forced him out. Ah, it's fine, though. It's fine, though. Sludge Bomb, I think, really still has no drawback. We're all Salt Vested. Even if he brings in something like the Roserade, we tank a hit. I'm not ever going to let this Clefable just really set up. Not set up, sorry. Uh, recover up, either. So, it does kind of suck that Yveltal is a little bit low, but it's not the worst thing ever. It's really not the worst thing ever right now. I want to get rid of that freaking Latias, dude, so I can get up my hazards and they can be here to stay. I'm really surprised you brought Mega Latias, honestly. Really surprised you brought it, but it is kind of annoying now. Although it is only at about 40%, the Mega Latias, plus it's toxic. And we know all of its moves pretty much at this point. So he's going to let Clefable go. Yes, this is amazing. Clefable is gone, which means he has to have rocks on Infernape potentially. Or if he doesn't have rocks on Infernape, then that's really good for us. So Clefable dead very early on. We have two Pokemon, unfortunately, that are a little bit below 50%, which is a little bad, but it's not the worst thing ever so far. The Porygon 2 is not toxic, unfortunately, but the Mega Latios is. If he brings a Porygon 2 here, I may just stay in to go for the knockoff to get rid of the Aviolite because a close combat is not going to one-shot it if he is purely defensive. And now that the Clefable is gone... Oh, dude, if I was like Z Outrage instead of Z Earthquake, that'd be so good right now. Or even Z Stone Edge, actually, in this scenario would be a lot better. But this is good because now Marshadow more than likely just clicks close combat for free, I think. Yeah, with Clefable gone, I just kind of click close combat. So we're sitting in a good spot so far. Randy still has a good chance to win. Yveltal is so terrifying, dude. Infernape is scary too. He still has that in the back. I'm, oh, dude, Infernape is such, such a problem. James Harden is Infernape, I believe. Yep. Do we risk this? Do we risk this? No, I'm gonna bring in Cresselia. Yes, I'm gonna bring in Cresselia. Because if he is SD and he sets up, I guess that could be a little bit bad, but it's not the worst thing ever. He could just U-turn. Substitute, okay. Oh, what is this, Subtoxic maybe? Would it be Subtoxic? I'm surprised that he has Sub. But Psyshock breaks the sub. Okay, so he sub as D. Okay. I mean, Cresselia is really here to deal with this Infernape. So yeah, we break the sub. Um, hold on. Yeah, see, SD and Frenate was definitely something I was scared of. I almost want to just stay in, guys. I don't know if we live a hit, though, if he's... No, we don't. Um, hold on. It's only a 37% chance. It's only a 37% chance to KO us. Do I need Cresselia like that this match? Uh, maybe. Hold on, how much? So at this point, Spectral Thief knocks him out. So it's either Sack Ferrothorn or Cresselia. I think I need a Sack Ferrothorn instead. Like, getting up a spike would be nice, but Toxic is so good. I switch into Roserade, too. I can still deal with Latios. <sighs> I don't want to, but I'm going to sack Ferrothorn. I really don't want to, but I'm going to sack Ferrothorn. 
Yeah, so he does go for the Z Inferno. Okay, so we lose Ferrothorn, that's fine. So, he sub as D, close combat, Flare Blitz, I'm pretty sure. Um, at plus two, he doesn't 2 a KO Cresselia at plus two. Uh, if I bring in, I can just bring a Marsh Shadow, honestly, in close combat, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring a Marsh Shadow close combat. I would Spectral Thief here, but... I don't think it's worth it, honestly. And if he brings in Yveltal... Then I get to smack that anyways. Plus, close combat should just... Murder something. I'm gonna close combat, yeah. How much would I do to Yveltal on the switching? Let's say he's Scarfed. That's a really good amount of damage. I'm gonna go for close combat. So he's gonna switch. Uh, maybe I could've brought in something else. I don't, I don't know if it was worth risking the roll there, but Mega Latios is gone now, which is good. That's fine, Mega Latios will be, will be gone here soon. So he now knows that we're life orbed. I kind of want to close combat again. I mean, Yveltal comes in either way, I suppose. But, like, he wouldn't switch out here. Is a thing. I mean, close combat is still safe. Yeah, so down goes Latios. It sucks that we lost our Spiker, but it's not the worst thing ever. I think I would, I would still rather have Cresselia around because we know what the Infernape set is now, which makes it a lot less of an issue. Yveltal doesn't learn Pursuit, which is amazing, by the way. So we should be fine. Hakim the Dream is Yveltal, indeed. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta pull up Comfy here. Oh wait, could I bring in Darkrai actually? I mean, he could U-turn though. If he scarfed, he U-turns here, for sure. Uh, I have to bring in Comfy. Yeah, Comfy is my main switch into this, anyways. We'll see what he's running. I need to keep an eye on how much damage he does to me. Does he steal wing like a man? Knock off! Okay. That did so much! It's a crit! Oh, that's lame, dude. Wait, so he did... Ah, did a lot. On 157 minus 94, 63 points of damage. A knockoff crit 63. Okay, so yeah, he's not running attack investment on this deck. And it doesn't look like he's dread plate either. Yeah, because I would have done way more. I want to double here, honestly. Mm, do I double? He still has the Comfy, I mean the P2 and the Roserade in the back. I'm gonna double here. So he's faster than us. Okay, now we know he's faster than us. As we bring in Darkrai, I'm going straight for the Ice Beam here, I think. Actually, no, I should knock off here. Y 
Yeah, because Ice Beam doesn't knock him out. Knock off gets rid of an item. I'll take this. Okay, so we know your Beltal is now faster than our Comfy. Because he switched out before us. So he's running a lot of speed on that. Your Veltal. It sucks that he crit Comfy though. It really does. But I'm going to knock off here. I catch Porygon too. He could expect me to go for an Ice Beam. I think that Darkrai does learn Psychic. So you could see that coming. But if this is not T-Spikes. Then we should still be fine. If he Scarf, we live a hit. So I don't mind staying in here and going for knockoff. Now I need to find some way to get on my rocks, and we should be fine. Yeah, because then we're gonna get it. We're gonna be getting chip off on your Veltal. That, dude, that could actually be Scarf your Veltal now that I think about it. So he stays in. So he's offensive. Okay, Sludge Bomb. We live this. No, bro! No! Oh, come on! I could have just knocked off or ice beamed. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, hold on. With Dazzling Gleam, Knockout Garchomp. Ah, dude, that's actually really bad. Because I could have got off damage on something else. Hidden Power Fire would just destroy us, unfortunately. Um, I think I have to bring in Garchomp here. Yeah. Dude, that's actually really bad. What if I just got a Brox here? I can just Stone Edge to knock him out. I think I'm gonna Stone Edge. And we hit! Yes! Okay, good. Down goes Rose. I'll take it. Alright. That's good. That's good. <sighs> Porygon 2 is still healthy as hell, though. If he brings in Javeltal, do I stay in is the question. Dude, losing Darkrai is so bad. This is where I really wish I was Rockium now. Like, if I was Rockium Z, that'd be so good. Yeah, I was Infernape. No, it's Porygon, okay. But Roserai being gone is really good, too. I'm switching right into Cresselia here. If he doubles out into Yabelta, that's a really good play on his end. Oh, dude, if he doubles here, that's a really good play. I'm certain that that Yabelta is scarfed, though. It's got to be scarfed. Yep. Damn it. Oh, this is bad. We live in Oblivion Wing, though. I mean, we live a Dark Pulse easily here. I'm gonna talk to this. I'm gonna talk to this. We tank this for sure. And we land. Awesome. Okay, how much did he do to me? I need to see how much you did. 69, okay. So 
Did 158. Yeah, he's definitely timid. He's timid or modest. Comfy at 94. I have leftovers though. I'm bringing in Comfy here. Okay, so we stayed in. We're definitely taking a Dark Pulse. Yeah, we're gonna eat this. Awesome, nothing. And he's getting worn down. I need to go for recover here. Or synthesis. I mean, we outspeed him. So he's now at 80%, the Yveltal. Porygon 2, that's fine. I'm not concerned about it. So he's got Ice Beam. He's got to have Recover. I want to taunt this. I'm going to taunt this. Let's see what he does. He got an attack boost, not the special attack boost. So I can taunt this and then go from there. Because if he has Toxic, he's going to go for it here. That would be my guess anyways. He could try to pull a double, thinking that I will switch. That's also not bad on his end. If I can't Toxic this Porygon, that's going to be really bad. So that was a good double on his end. I'm just happy he didn't flinch at my Cresselia or else... We would probably just be in a in the negative right now. So I'm gonna taunt him. Hopefully he doesn't have try attack. Frustration. That did a lot. Oh, that's hold on. Oh, I should have seen that one coming. I know he's ran it before, too. I'm going to bring in Cresselia here. Cresselia should live a plus one hit. Easily. If Comfy took it, Cresselia can take it. For sure. Ah, oh, he got me again. Okay, Randy. Okay, Randy. So he would have to go for Oblivion Wing here, right? Oblivion Wing wouldn't knock us out, though. I almost want to say I don't need Marshadow, honestly. Dude, I've gotten no damage off on Polygon, and that's such a problem. If he Dark Pulses here, I think I just bring in Garchomp. Stone Edge. He brings in P2. I zoom in pain. I'm gonna Moonblast. Damn it! So your Veltal is getting lower and lower, which is what I really need here. Hold on. Yo, Marshadow lives a clo- Marshadow lives. Bro, do I bank it on a flinch though? 
Because if I bring in Marsh Shadow now, I just get a kill. I'm doing it. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. He's modest scarfed for sure. But he does he just dies. He, he never kills us. Alright, Marsh Shadow. Come on, come on. We live. We live this dark pulse. That's the thing though, like he's gonna risk this or he's gonna have to sack something else off. Dude, that Porygon 2 is such a problem. That Porygon 2 is such a problem right now. And we're still out of range of where we died to life for. Okay, so he's gonna switch, probably stack off Infernape. We're still out of range. No, I think I messed up. Crap, I think I messed up. Yeah, I think I, I think I lost. I think I lost. I think we lose here. I messed up. I messed up. Because he goes for Oblivion Wing here. I can sack off Comfy. I think I know what I need to do in order to win. Yeah, I have to sack off Comfy here, okay. No! I can't do that. Damn it. Who's Garchomp? Is it any better? Because Oblivion Wing Turkey owes me. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I think maybe I should have sacked off Garchomp. <sighs> I really misplayed. I really misplayed. So another thing is No, I think maybe we can still win. Dude, if I was rocking, okay, so what I can do is bring in Marsh Shadow. We're still out of range. But if he stays in, my Garchomp doesn't beat his Porygon. So I need to bring in Garchomp here. I, I need to. Oblivion Wing doesn't 2 KO us. I'm gonna SD. He shouldn't stay in here. Oblivion Wing will not 2 KO us unless he gets two absolute high rolls. He needs two max, max rolls. So I'm gonna SD here. So catch Porygon, okay. Please stop. Oh, why am I getting all of this right now? <sighs> I need to do it, dude. It doesn't matter. Yes! He stayed in! I think we win! Dude, if this kills, we win! This has got to kill, though. It's not going to kill. It's not going to kill. This has to kill. This has to kill. No! No! 
I lost. How did, I don't know how it just lived. I'm, I don't know, man. It, it lived on like one HP. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what I could have done differently there. I don't know. That second double really got us too, unfortunately. If I had just stayed in with Comfy, honestly, I could have stayed in with Comfy and gone for Synthesis. And that would have been so much better. So yeah, unfortunately, we lost the finals to literally like, it had to be one HP. It had to be one HP, dude. Oh well. Unfortunately, you can't win them all. Happy for Randy, though. He is one of my good friends, so he is the uh, GBA Season 9 champion. Uh, with that being said, playlist for our season is down in the description, and I will see you all whenever I see y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Later, everybody.